Yo, what is up you guys? Boy, am I excited to bring you guys this video. Um, this was kind of unplanned. I actually had something else in the works, but you did click on this video, so I'm assuming you already read the title of this video. And honestly, I'm gonna just cut straight into I'm not gonna blue ball you guys, so. With that being said, guys, here is the new car on the channel, the new Daily Driver. Let's get it. I'm coming. That was kind of scary because I was rolling backwards, trying to get out of first. Still learning on the manual, so that was a little sus, but hop in, shout it. Where are you going? You going over in town? I can take you. Take me. Okay, let's go. What am I driving? Look at me. Look at me! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They thought I couldn't do it! They thought I couldn't do it! Oh my gosh! I thought I couldn't do it. They don't want to see you winning. Drop a gear and disappear. JK, this thing gonna go over. It's about 75, so. <laughs> Bam, son. Look at that. Alrighty, guys, introducing the new daily to the channel. This is a 2003 Rubicon Jeep Wrangler. And. I'm super excited to bring it to the channel, guys. It was really unplanned. I was actually trying to get a different car, and it kind of worked out that I just get this as a daily. I'm gonna keep the Z for about another six, seven, eight months, and then the other car will be coming to the channel as well. But for now, I'm bringing you guys this. This thing is pretty awesome. Honestly, it's a great daily, and I wanna show y'all one thing, because I've, I've been getting hounded for pretty much my entire car career, and I wanna show y'all this. Come here, come here. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't not do it this way, guys. I just want to show y'all something. Take a yonder in there. Show them what that is. Yes, sir. That is, boys. Yes, that is a five-speed manual. I got this bad boy in a manual. I got a Rubicon. I got the year, six-cylinder. I got the whole nine yards. With that being said, I think we should just go around the car and show y'all what's done to it already. Because it's got some modifications that I honestly love. And I'm gonna be doing some more to it too, so let me show y'all around. All right guys, so for starters, this Jeep does have these upgraded lights. Mind you guys, I'm gonna be mentioning this stuff and I have no clue about any of it, really. So I'm gonna be just kind of running it down. If you guys know what some of this stuff is, please leave it down in the comment section below because I clearly do not have a clue and I would love some more feedback. Um, but yes, I do have these lights here. I have some lights in, the, in this big ass metal bumper. That, by the way, I am getting powder coated, gloss black, because there's a little bit of rust right here. Not a big deal. I'm gonna get it coated gloss black. I'm gonna get this redone in red. I'm probably gonna actually gonna do that in the next video. Other things that it has, it has these light bars right here and that big one up top. This one and this one's not actually hooked up yet, but it is wired, so I just have to hook it up to the battery. This is also getting powder coated, gloss black in the next few days. Pretty much anything rusty on the car is getting gloss black. Thankfully, there's no serious rust under the car. So there's no serious rust anywhere on the car except these modifications, which honestly, a couple hundred bucks to get it powder coated done. The Jeep comes on these wheels. I'm not too sure what wheels these are, honestly. If someone knows, leave them down in the description. They do come with Toyo tires. And yes, I do have the fifth one in the back, all right? This Jeep is on a lift kit. I am not entirely sure what. I'm gonna show you guys under here. I'm not sure what any of this stuff is. Shocks, and then there's the lift kit, I'm assuming. Um, like I said, I don't know, but if someone knows, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Moving to the back, here's the rear end of the car. The top is in good working order. I wanna make this Jeep as clean as possible, pretty much. That's my goal with this whole thing. So yeah, like I said, it is an inline six with the manual transmission. As far as interior, only thing that I really have is the speaker. I do plan on installing a sub soon because this car definitely needs a little bit of bass. And other than these lights under here, which are badass, I think this is super cool. And then that, that ratchet shit with the LED strips, it's just one solid color light. 
which I actually love. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the Jeep. I thought it was only fair that I pull it up on this little mountain thing since I drive a, a back 370. I can't really do that anyway. But yeah, guys, that's the video. It's gonna be a short one today because I kinda just wanna introduce you to this Jeep. I haven't named her yet. I feel like it's a her. It's got a lot of guns everywhere, but I still think it's a her. A car this old and this beautiful should be a her, I think. Leave some comments down below what you guys think the name should be because I really need help with that. Me and Lissette have been really grinding on trying to find a name, but we can't find one. It ain't Jill, I'll tell you that much. I thought Jill was pretty that nice. That ain't no damn Jill. I don't know why, I like Jill. But anyways guys, short video today. Do you guys have any comments on you what you guys wanna see with the, new, with the new Wrangler? Let me know, leave it in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoy the next few videos coming out soon. I love you guys to death and peace out.